Hey guys, Maddie Extreme Auto Car in the camping. Another off grid setup. 360 amp hours of lithium here. Got the Victron MPPT Solar Smart Controller. We put 480 watts on the roof for these guys. I want to keep weight to a minimum. Um, got the Enerdrive inverter here running on all the factory outlets. So that's your microwave, air conditioner, GPOs, all near your coffee machine. So that's induction cooking outside, whatever you want, mains power all completely off the grid. Just touch a button and you've got mains power on the side of the road anywhere you want. So we've also got the, um, we've changed the charging system in this because this is a Viscount V3, came bog stock with an AGM battery. So what I get customers to do is to order the vans that dead stock. Um, it's cheaper, easier. We can do the system bigger and better and customize it to your needs. So um, get a lot of phone calls with people um, offering um, sorry, companies offering lithium upgrades, and that's fine, that's okay. Um, however, if you're gonna go big, um, so sort of give us a call first and we'll discuss it with you. But in this case, 30 amp Victron mains charger. We've put the Orion DC charger in this one to get a bit more control over the, um, the time it can charge from the alternator. So what we've noticed is, um, as great as they are, and we love fitting them, is the Red Arcs only have a two hour boost so what that means is the Red Arc DC chargers will only punch out, it's the current model, mind you, will only punch out that size of amperage. So if you've got a DC 50, a BC DC 1250, it'll only punch out that 50 for two hours. You have to reset it and then it'll hit the reset button, you know, continue to pump out 50. So they've got their place, but if you're driving all day and you want to get a really good charge, then there are other options. So we've, we've opted for the, uh, the Orion in this one, the 30. And yeah, it's doing a great job. So all the Bluetooth, all the smarts on this one, fully controlled up the top there with the BMV 712. So everything is monitored. And I mean everything. You, Anything you put into this via the Anderson plug, via the solar, if you had a portable solar panel, um, you know, any consumable, the air conditioner, the whole lot is all monitored on the display. So people will set 50% state of charge alarm. So if you're, you know, it's two in the morning and it's stinking hot, you wanna run the air conditioner, just grab your remote, turn your air conditioner on, no generators and run it for, you know, however you want to set it. You might want to set a 70% state of charge alarm. So it'll beep at you. Um, it's quite loud. It'll start beeping at you at that given percentage. So yeah, really good, easy setup for people. It's as simple as just opening up a cupboard and pressing a button. So here we are here. It's as simple as just keep your finger down, on, power comes on. We're running the air conditioner right now. Um, I think it was at 16. Now, this is actually one of the first ones we've done off-grid with the Gree. Now, we know what the Harriers and the Trumas, um, they draw being an inverter style, they don't sort of clunk in and clunk out. But this one um, isn't bad. And you can see what it's pulling. It's been running for about 10 minutes now. Yes, we've got a bit of solar, but you know, it's not really super sunny outside. It's quite late in the afternoon here, guys. But that is what we are pulling, running that air conditioner. And it's, it's pumping flat out, that is, that's nice and cold there, so there we go. Running the air conditioner completely off the grid. It's only pulling, you know, 50, 60 amps. Now it's obviously gonna cycle, it's not gonna pull that on the hour. So that's the wattage. I did see it hit 800 before, guys, so that's the Gree. So for you guys out there with, um, yeah, you know, I think JB's have got some Grees on them. Um, the Viscount's got Grees. This is a 2000 watt Enerdrive inverter, all right? That is just the 2000 watt. So you can see with that current drawer, pretty good. Now, obviously you're not gonna, you know, chuck the microwave on at the same time with a 2000 watt inverter, but I'm just showing you what its potential is to run. So you can see it's cycling up and down now. Now these batteries are straight out of the box, so they'd only be like, geez, 30% state of charge. Um, and you've, we've been running this for a while now, so there we go.